Remember how in school you studied the periodic table? There was an element on the top right corner with the symbol P. That's boron. Whenever you hear the word boron, the first thing that probably comes to your mind is a very boring boric acid. Unlike lithium and copper, boron hasn't received our due attention. But boron has multiple industrial applications and Turkey is sitting on the world's largest boron reserves. We are here at the International Boron Symposium being held at Istanbul Technical University where experts from around the world have gathered to share information on how to promote various uses of boron. Normally you, you don't see boron in the, uh, uh, in the, in the, the daily life, but for, for example, I want to give you an uh, uh, important uh, application, for example, in MRI devices, in healthcare. Uh, quite a lot of boron usage is uh, available now. It's, in, in, it's already in our, in our daily life. Uh, or in uh, airbag systems in the in the cars, uh, in every car, uh, it may be it may seem low to you, but in every car, 10 grams of boron is located. It's already located, and if you multiply this to, with the uh, number of cars produced every year, you can see ton, tons of uh, high purity boron is uh, produced and consumed every year. Among other things, boron is already being used to manufacture impenetrable armor, and it goes into making the tip of the rockets which go into space. Scientists are now finding even more ways on how to extract benefit from this remarkable element. The basic difference is that uh, between uh, nuclear energy that we already have on the grid that's, that is splitting very heavy uranium uh, atoms to create this reaction, uh, to, to create this, this, this heat, to um, to, to extract it with, with via storm steam turbines uh, to, to have um, electricity on the grid. Um, what we do is, is combine lighter elements and, and one of these fusion reactions that, that is very interesting is, is the hydrogen boron one uh, because it has a few very um, nice advantages over the classic deuterium-tritium uh, fusion reactions that are normally used in, in, in the science up to today. Boron can also help commercialize green hydrogen which has been dubbed as a fuel of the future. However, there is a catch. It is difficult to transport hydrogen over long distances. Here again, boron can offer a solution. Today I will talk about our newly created material named hydrogen boride. This material is composed of boron and hydrogen with one to one atomic ratio. Okay? And this material can be uh, useful for many functional applications. And one of the important application is just now only theoretically predicted, okay, but uh, very important for hydrogen storage material. We can store hydrogen using this material uh, with a very uh, high efficiency, uh, maybe one of the best uh, quality, uh, best uh, performance. Last year, Turkey exported $1 billion worth of boron products. Industry people say this figure is only going to go up. The world's uh, boron-related market is around $50 billion. I think uh, Turkey uh, has the potential to get at least half of it uh, in, in ten, less than 10 years. Mm -hmm.